So, after coordinate system, let us try to identify one classical problem that is if I if I have a point and somebody asks me a point is located here, let us say point is 3 comma 4 and somebody asks me what is the distance of this point from the origin. So, in this particular slide our goal is to find the distance of a point P which is 3 comma 4 from the origin that essentially reduces to finding the length of this line segment which is joining points O and P. So, is there any classical tool that is of my help? Suppose now if this point is either lying on x axis or y axis, let us say if this point is say 3 comma 0, okay. if this is the point that is of interest to me, do I know how to find the distance of this point? The answer is yes, I know. I just need to calculate the units that are in horizontal direction. Suppose the point is on y axis, then do I know how to calculate the distance of this particular point from y axis? The answer is again yes, I know. I just need to calculate the number of units that I need to travel to reach this point. So, if the point lies on x axis and y axis, I know how to calculate the distance of a point. Now, if the point is lying anywhere in the coordinate plane, how to find the distance is a question. For that, let us try to understand the situation that if I know if somehow I can understand this with respect to this coordinate axis, this particular position with respect to this coordinate axis, then I will be able to give the answer to find the distance between the two points. So, let us try to do one thing that is let us try to get the image of this point 3 comma 4 on x axis. So, how will I get the image of this point 3 comma 4 onto x axis? The easiest way is you drop a perpendicular on x axis that intersects the x axis at point 3 comma 0. Once this is done, then you can actually drop a perpendicular and see that it forms a right angle triangle with x axis in place and the vertical line in place. You have a right angle triangle. Do you know any theorem in our, your, our conventional geometry that relates this particular structure? You know Pythagoras theorem or Pythagorean theorem that relates this particular structure. In a right angle triangle, the hypotenuse length of the hypotenuse is given by square root of its uh, adjacent sides, square root of squares of the lengths of the adjacent sides. So, I uh, we will try to use this for finding the distance between the distance of a point from the origin. So, by Pythagorean theorem, I know O p square is actually equal to O q square plus q p square. Now, the exercise that we did orally just before starting this problem will help us to understand what is OQ square. So, if you uh, what is OQ? OQ is a part of x axis, OQ is a line segment which is a part of x axis. What is the length of OQ? We have already discussed that that length is 3 units. Similarly, if you look at QP, what is QP? QP is parallel to y axis. So, it is as good as projection of y axis, projection onto y axis. So, what is the length of this particular uh, line segment which is QP? That is 4 units. So, I know the length of OQ and I know the length of QP. Therefore, by Pythagorean theorem, I know the length of OQ, OP. So, what will be the length of OP? It will be square root of OQ square plus QP square. So, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16. Therefore, this will give me 25, 16 plus 9 and positive square root of it will give me number 5. Now, has it anything special to do with point 3 comma 4 or can I generalize this? The answer is yes, it has nothing special to do with point 3 comma 4. 
I could have started with point P which is x comma y and then projected this onto x axis or I figured out the image onto x axis which will be x comma 0 and therefore the length of OQ will be x square and uh, sorry, sorry OQ, length of OQ will be x and the length of QP will be from 0 to y units that means y units. So, length of QP will be y units and therefore the formula OP equal to square root of x square plus y square would have been possible. So, let us try to take this particular example and try to generalize this problem to finding the distance between any two points. So, distance between any two points. So, again the setup is pretty common our goal is to find the distance between any two points p x1 comma y1 and r x2 comma y2. How will you find the distance between any two points? Let us see the points on the graph then the things will be more specific. My x1 comma y1 is 5 comma 6 and y, uh, x2 comma y2 is minus 1 comma 2. Now if I look at these two points I want to find the distance between these two points. So, one easy way to find the distance between these two points is to construct a right angle triangle. But now because the point is not located on x axis this minus 1 comma 2 is not located on any of the axis I cannot say drop a perpendicular to x axis. So, the, the actual way that I should do here is I will drop a perpendicular to x axis which will intersect at 5 comma 0 and then to this line I will drop a perpendicular from the point r minus 1 comma 2 and which will intersect this this particular line which was which will be the perpendicular to x axis at uh, where the y coordinate will be 2 and x coordinate will be 5. So, this point will be 5 comma 2 and then I will get a right angle triangle. By skipping these steps we can straight away say that you construct a right angle triangle with a right angle at point Q which is x1 comma y2. Just relate this x1 comma y2 if you use this terminology is the point phi comma 2. So, you can draw a, a, a right angle triangle using my phi comma 2. Okay. So, so, this way we need not have to uh, specify steps that you have to draw two perpendiculars and all because the, po the point may as well lie in the third quadrant and in that case dropping perpendicular to x axis may not help you have to extend the perpendicular beyond x axis. So, it is always better to consider this kind of structure that is construct a right angle triangle with right angle at point Q which is x1 comma y2 then it does not matter where the point actually lies. Now once the right angle triangle is in place the same theory that we used Pythagorean theorem will come into play and by Pythagorean theorem if I want to find the length of PR I know PR square is QR square plus PQ square. Can I calculate the length of QR and PQ? The answer is yes I can calculate because the point QR the line segment QR is actually parallel to x axis and the line segment PQ is parallel to y axis. Therefore, it, this is as good as computing the length on x axis and this is as good as computing the length on y axis. Hence, what we will get is so how to compute the length? it is basically the change in x coordinates. So, how far the x coordinates have changed? So, uh, while computing the length parallel to x axis always remember you should go from left to right that is when you are subtracting you should take the highest value first that is phi minus minus 1. So, the length of this will be 6 units and while uh, subtracting or while finding the length in a vertical direction go from bottom to up that means you subtract the value that is highest in y direction 
to the value that is lowest in uh, y direction. So, here 6 minus 2 will give me 4 and in the x direction 5 minus minus 1 will give me 6 units. So, this is how we will calculate the length of these two points, these two line segments and therefore, I can easily find the length of PR while calculating the length because we are in this particular case we are considering squares it does not matter whether you consider x 1 first or x 2 first because we, anyway we are squaring even if you get the negative value you will be squaring it. So, in particular in this case where the coordinates are x 1 y 1 and x 2 y 2 I will take x 2 minus x 1 the whole square does not matter which one is bigger and y 2 minus y 1 the whole square does not matter which one is bigger and I will take a positive square root of it. Therefore, my length p r for this particular example will be 6 square plus 4 square, 6 square 36, 4 square 16 together they will give 52 is 2 root 13. So, now we have established a general formula which is called distance formula for finding the distance between any two points on a coordinate plane. 